Hello everybody, this is Grezo. Welcome back to the Iron Islands. Uh, we had a good first start in our episode one. We've killed the king and we do have a uh, faction going for independence. No one's joined uh, so far. Um, but I was thinking we did press a claim in the Riverlands for a, a county called Cray, which... Uh, where was it? Um, in the Riverlands anyway. Um, I'm not sure whether we want to go that route and, and kind of land here. I'm thinking we want to maybe forge our own little uh, story in our empire here. We want to get independence for the Orion, Orion Islands to start off. But then maybe I was thinking of pressing claims in the Wildling territory and maybe going for a goal of uniting the tribes of the north and uh, Maybe maybe interact with the wall a bit. It's just a mechanic that it's uh, not in regular games. So I thought maybe we'd do that to start off. So let's maybe press a claim if we can. Um, we want to press a claim in somewhere north of the border. Maybe we just start on the left and uh, hide point could be where we start off. Um, or do we want to be right beside the border? Um, Iron Islands, like at sea, freezing cold. Let's go for frozen gulch. Press a claim there. How long will that take? Um, two years. Can't do it. Okay. Don't think I can get that done any quicker, potentially, without having a, a better person as our drowned man and I can't fire this person <laughs> or can't hire a new counselor okay we'll let that tick tick boy in, in in the meantime that's uh that's kind of just, just something I thought about in between episodes that uh we might we might have a side little project of, of taking over and, and uniting the throne up there or the, or the the tribal counties of the north uh two family members can get married let's have a look let's do matrilineal and who is this my son let's see if we can get him a good wife with maybe an alliance lands hall 200 soldiers not great alliance power we can get an alliance with Dorn Martel Dorn have is that true like I can get an alliance with uh, 17,000 soldiers that would be really really nice maybe we do that let's it's filter based on matrilineal and alliance power. Hmm. It looks like the Martel banner. Oops. Just try that one more time. Um, matrilineal. I'm gonna get a bunch of prestige because it's a famous family. I just don't think that we can inherit titles because I think this might be a bastard child uh, out of wedlock. So we may not inherit like land and Dorn. I'm okay with that, but uh, we would like we want them in the house Greyjoy. Um, so who actually will give you a matrilineal marriage? Maybe we'll start there. Um. This one's close, like we could try Dorn. This one actually has an intelligent trait. Why won't they accept? Hmm. Let's do all and then alliance power. Hmm. Let's do relevance. Her opinion of me is not great. Who are you? There's two thousand two thousand soldiers here. Looks like people want to uh they they, they don't want to give me matrilineal. Which is I mean I, I wanna grow the dynasty, so I want matrilineal. Maybe we'll just do like unlanded people, ruler, unlanded, okay, 
Let's have a look. Uh, my player heir, Roderick, can also get married. Let's do match on the Neil for you. Let's restore to the vaults and do alliance power. You can also marry the same person. Will you do matrilineal? You will. You're three. I'm 17. Let's do that. Looks like they, uh, they'll they marry one of my sons, but not the other one. He is no longer captain of my household guard. And Victorian Greyjoy died during the outbreak of bubonic plague. <laughs> look, at this, look at the head on him. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Alliance form with Dorne. That's huge. Lots of lots of soldiers. Let's just get this guy married off, and we'll do alliance power again. Or inborn. Or maybe uh, in this case, we'll just do inheritable traits. And relevance. And we'll get you a robust woman from the north. Who worships the old gods. Maybe. Maybe we get this person in. Okay. I think um, by marrying off my son there, we, we lost the core position, so we need to fix that. Uh, getting renowned, all of that's good. Court grandeur's gone up. Let's just have a look at our core positions. Our council should have empty council positions. Head of the household guard. This guy looks good. He's her, uh, Herculean. Now, we want to continue raiding the Orient Islands, I think. Oh, sorry, the, the Wildlings. Is there any cities up here that have gold? No. Just looking at the capitals, or, well, there's, there's small, tiny amounts of gold here. I do have a court event, royal court. Um, a closeted cadaver. I find myself venturing deep into the illustrious wardrobe, hungry for what magnificent, magnificent, magnificent fabrics lie uh, closer to the back. Uh, so looking for clothes, and I think I find a body. <laughs> um, so I can gain a regalia artifact. I'll take the artifact. Attraction opinion, that's good. Let's just add that to our slot. I don't think we had that. I had one of them right now. All right. Anything that we can do here as a decision. I can declare war on Lord... <laughs> Lord Eddard of the North. What's my claim? Oh, because uh, I pressed the, <laughs> pressed the claim on Cray, which is just down here. We found it. Um, yeah, obviously I'm not going to do that. He has a, he's a pretty strong, strong army. So for now, let's just continue on. Pay homage, petition leads, just seeing if there's anything that we can do. We can pet knuckles to get rid of a little bit of stress. I'll do that. Invite claimants. Um, how about we invite some captains? Get some new knights. In and I want to see if maybe people are in my court that aren't, um, that are not of my religion, not the drowned god. There is a couple people. My sister-in-law. Can you convert, please? Yep, that's good. I uh, want everybody on the same religion as me. Um, Alyssa, can you convert? You'll also accept. That's great. And the last one. I think is Faith of the Seven. I don't think this guy will convert. Maybe let me give him a little gift. Get his opinion up of us. Maybe he'll convert now. Minus eleven. Um He's good learning. And he's a renowned physician. Am I swaying anybody right now? Yeah, I'm swaying this guy for um, the the independence faction. 
You can keep the trait vengeful. I want to increase my authority so I can revoke titles. Spent a good chunk of my prestige here. Because uh, look at this. Here's like this is this is my area, right? This is Pike and the Iron Islands. If you go all the way out to sea here, you'll, you'll notice like a flag. Um, Tia Greyjoy is going to come to the next event, it looks like. Um, this guy has its, has his own little castle in the middle of nowhere. Sun at sea. Now, he, he, he's quite weak. But it's a cool castle hole in. Um, just in the middle of the sea here. But I, I could potentially... Cannot revoke titles from a vassal who has a feudal contract. Protected title. Um, who is in line to take this? Um, I was thinking of maybe revoking some titles to get my domain up so we'll have more income. Uh, to my vassal, I hope it would not come to this. I'm left with no other option to rescind. I'm no longer master of the uh, of um, no longer the marshal to the Iron Throne. Gunnar is a good name for a, a great a Greyjoy. Gunnar Greyjoy. That's great. Um, okay, I'm booted off the council. It seems. Who who did he replace me with? Lord Paramount. Uh, can I become his spy master and then kill him, like similar to what we've done previously? Um, if we if we keep killing the main people, I think the Iron Throne will eventually split. Like if I try to murder this guy, I get a five percent chance. But if I modify my my vassal contract and I give you more levies, uh, more. 55% levies, um, maybe more taxes, and then I want guaranteed council rates. I already have this. Like he, he's revoked this from me. Your obligations have already been changed. Interesting. Okay. Okay, let's continue on here for now. Um, want to see if maybe I'm I think I'm due to inherit this place um, or you can usurp it claimants for so I have a claim on this And what I might do is, can I press a claim? Hmm. I want to uh, start owning more of the Orient Islands myself. How do I do that? So he's reporting to me, that's fine. I'm not going to declare war for now. Is there anybody that I can kind of just revoke titles from? I thought I could revoke a title by increasing my crown authority. Doesn't seem to be the case. We'll keep an eye out for anybody breaking the rules. We'll try to imprison and revoke their titles that way. For now, we might just make, in, make sure our, uh, our army looks good. Is there anybody else that's unmarried in my court that we could maybe drag in some more characters? Unmarried. Just this guy. Fair enough. These are my vassals. All of them have a decent opinion of me, so I'm in good shape with my, my vassals for now. Champion has arrived. Uh, invite the court. Recruit the court. I don't have fifty dollars, not just yet. Um, against my liege, add members. 
A demonstration of leadership. My friend Lord Dalton has been hovering around my council meetings lately. No one is interested in matters of leadership. I could possibly engage him in conversation. Do I want to do this? I get 50 marshal or I get respected. Yeah, I'll take this. Respected figureheads. I want to add people to... Cannot be forced to join. The people have the most soldiers, obviously. The reach would be good. Can I fabricate a hook? How do I get these guys to join? Dorn? I have a... Forced to join faction. I don't have a strong hook. Use a hook on him to get him to join my current faction. Okay, can I... Um, I have a daughter-in-law that was born. Oh, birth of a son. Who is Herculean. Rook, which is a good name. I might just call him Rock instead of Rook. It's a better name. Uh, which perk do we want? Marriage acceptance for yourself. For my, my close family. Natural dread. Control growth. Raid speed, supply capacity. Um, yep. Yeah. Let's go raiding, maybe. Anywhere up here that has some gold. Like some of these have like the 10. Okay, go raiding throughout most of this place. Can I raid the wall? Is that a thing? I don't think so. It seems <laughs> climbing very like an uphill battle. Climbing a big cliff. Spouse up to the task. Um, some of my counselors believe the job is theirs by their birthright or influence alone. After a long day, okay, uh, I can get studying diplomacy plus two. I can give diplomacy to any one of these, or I can lay with lay lady paramount. Paramount. My steward and vassal. Maybe I give it to my steward. Let's increase his uh his skills. Petition liege. I want to do that. I want guaranteed seat on the council, please. Unfortunately, you have arrived at a difficult time. Most of the that I'm unable to receive you. This is an act of tyranny, and it causes. Okay, well, Stan, Stannis just doesn't want anything to do with me. I'm going to just uh, maybe... Maybe... I'm not going to sway this guy anymore. I'm going to just try to kill Stannis. Uh, murder. 5% chance. I'm sure there's going to be a few people that join uh, to increase that. Warm welcome. Let's uh, support schemes. Solace and script. Lord Paramount John has uh, become all the rage of uh, court at late. Um, I don't really want to read this poem. So I can gain prestige. Yeah, I don't want to read the poem. How is... 5% chance. One agent who is Patchface. <laughs> Sir Patchface. <laughs> Um, he's lowborn, and he's in Stannis's court. Can I recruit as a spy? Can I maybe give him a gift? I don't have money to give him a, uh, a gift. I can get this guy to maybe just rest restore to defaults. Want to marry this lady? Just curious if he gets opinion of me then. Oh, relevance. Getting lost in the menus. Okay, let's progress some times. 
Uh, I gain heavy infantry insight. Okay. Got a couple more captains. Um, the murder scheme has been exposed. That's not great, is it? Okay. What can we do? We're all alone on our island here. Um, I think I probably need to just wait until my claim goes through. It's 11 months away, so let's speed this up. My brother had died, so I lost my link with the Reach. That's a shame. What a shame. Knuckles brings me two gold. Grand Melee of 10 Towers. You're hereby invited to attend. I gain 50. Have better things to do. I'll take. Yeah, I'll attend. Sure. What does that do? Uh, my court here is given birth to a son, Sig, Sigurd, uh, I think we'll call him. Sig free sounds horrible. Good traits though. I arrived at the grounds of the Grand Melee alongside warriors from across the realm. Some of them seem a little more worried than the green boys are hardly able to swing their swords, while others bear the scars of many campaigns and, bat and battles. The one thing that unites all of them is courage. The melee ring is not for the faint of heart. I will intend to make my foes rude the day that they stepped in the ring with me. For glory. Alright, so I'm actually fighting myself. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get hurt. I can take a concubine. What does that do? Does that boost my skills at all? No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to watch every contest. I'll wait patiently for my name to be called. Yep. Okay. We might we might get into a fight here, which is which is kind of nice. And I, uh, two armored figures square off in the field of battle. The herald announced me announced their name. So it's me against Master Euron of Treshcroft, who has uh, seven name prowess. I should win this. I'm thirty six, and all these like extra buffs. There is no truer test of prowess. Okay, single combat. For a, uh, a brief few moments, Master Yura and I pace in lazy half circles, each waiting for an opening. I lift my mace ready to defend myself. When he clutches my his sword firmly, while well, he clutches his sword firmly in his hand, the fight may, be, may only be till first blood, but that doesn't ease my nerves. Suddenly, our bout begins. So I can do high likelihood of success, medium risk of injury, And he'll do medium, yeah, let's do strike, party, repose. I leap into action, launching a fury of rapid thumps, driving uh, myself against uh, Euron's guard, wearing him down each expertly timed strike. With surprising speed, Euron unleashes a powerful cleave of the sword, nearly knocking my mace loose. Okay, uh, my form is good with only small errors. His his stance is a, is a disaster. We are evenly matched with the uh, victory balancing on a knife's edge. So... I can go for no likelihood of me thinks I, I need to make an example of him. I gained dual handicap rank. Yeah, let's do this. Let's make an example of him. I can't count how many people I've crushed with my mace. Maybe Euron will be next. Maybe not. But my reign of savage blows must have him worried about it. Euron adopts a defensive stance, doing his absolute best to ward me off. The man's always following my every movement. My form is good with only small errors. Euron's stance is still a disaster. My opponent is reeling for me. Victory is so close that I can practically taste it. Better men have died uh, trying to break my guard. I'll show you how I lift my mace. That's the best you've got. You can't even hit me. Methinks I'll make an example of you. So, medium chance of success again. The mace flows like uh, around you're on like water with each strike, chaining fluidly to the next a series of plant perfectly timed strikes. Surprisingly, uh, with surprising speed. He, okay, so that, that's actually it. After sending me back again. Okay, I am victorious. And he's wounded. 
Which is great. Cool. I want a battle there. Uh, there's no tr uh, two armored figure. Oh, dude, now I need to fight this guy. The Grand Melee of the Ten Towers. Okay, who is this guy? This guy is 22. He's also Ironborn. This is uh, going to be interesting. Uh, let's see how you do without your hammer. Hmm. High increase, high, high, high likelihood of success. Let's go with that. Um, high likelihood of success, medium risk of injury. No likelihood of success. Strike party repose. Okay, that was an easier one. Great. He's also wounded. I am a bit of a beast on the on the battlefield. Um, Master Dagger. Okay. He is also ironborn. I think all I think this is actually just <laughs> an internal battle. Um, medium. High likelihood of success. Um, strike parry repulse, the same as what we done last time. I leap into action. Uh, my form is good. Only his stance is formidable. Okay, so he hasn't been beat up yet. Let's do the last one. I have an open. I have an, I've yet to open up him. Let's continue again. I am victorious. I'm just going to use the one that has the high likelihood of success. I think. There's no truer test of power. Um, this guy, twenty-five. Let's see if we can just quickly do this one. Attack first, on guard. High risk of injury. Don't want to do that. Um, very high risk of injury. Okay. Um, okay. Everybody's wounded. Like, am I just am I cannibalizing my army? Am I damaging my own people here by, <laughs> by being too good at fighting? Uh, I receive Lord Swain. Yeah, sure. Come to the court. Lord Swain is last to show in my great hall. No, waste no time walking up to my throne before bowing deeply. Thank you for seeing me. My lord, I'm certain a royal visit would change the mood of the people and return them to proper course. Gains royal visit. Popular opinion. He pays 50 to me. <clears throat> He'll lose uh, some opinion. He's 36. I will take sure offer of knighthood I've been knighted offer of knighthood uh, greetings it's been uh, it's been said that any knight can make another man a knight I've noticed you're not a knight yet I would happy to okay yeah absolutely I, I've just become a knight by the king accept that um that's great news. I've, been, I've gained the trait Knight. What does that do? Prestige. Captain effectiveness. And heavy cavalry damage. Attraction as well. Nice. Um, hi. This is uh, just a fight so far. This uh, <laughs> this episode. Strike parry repulse. Medium risk of injury. Yeah, let's go for it. You'll never see it coming. Um, okay. Okay. Very high likelihood of success. That's the best you've got. Yeah. Just gotta click on the high high likelihood of success, medium risk of injury. I think. Yeah. How many of these fights is there? Oh my god. Um, yep. Yeah. Lord Fr Fraleg should beat this guy. Uh -huh. Okay, another one bites the dust. I didn't have an option not to do this event, I don't think. I thought I picked the one that was just like, hey, I'm only going to come over when my name gets called. 
low no likelihood of success low likelihood of success high risk of injury this one's a little bit tougher I think still one okay nice uh, melee winner so more prestige 250 uh, prestige added and uh, 75 gold that was great okay so that was actually worth doing so now that I am a knight I still don't think I'm on this guy's council yet. I don't think so. I can invite a few people to the scheme. I can bribe this guy for 55. He would not accept. Why is it telling me he can be convinced? Uh, King Stannis' stepson will invite to our scheme. And I just want Stannis to die, basically. Um, it's all good. How's our faction coming along? <laughs> Nobody cannot be forced to join. I need to get uh, hooks going. Um, so is that maybe lifestyle experience? Can I go down intrigue and get like hooks? Enables fabricate a hook scheme. Okay, let's do that. Uh, agent acceptance. Let's do this. We're going to switch just for a second to intrigue, just to get truth as relative, so we can get hooks to get my uh, independence. Okay, a few people have joined. Two agents. Patch, Patchface and Gedmud. I don't think uh, that's giving me a good chance <laughs> whatsoever. Let's continue on. Might get our claim on the north soon. Task finished. Okay, nice. Uh, I get an unpossessed, uh, unpressed claim on the high chiefdom of. I can get the whole duchy. I think I'll take the whole duchy. Seventy-eight. I don't have the money for the duchy right now. It's twice the price. Let's do that for now. Um, and now I should be able to go to war. I might have to fight the whole of the north for that claim. Clear war. My claims. Only 600 soldiers. I'm absolutely coming up. Let's go for a fight. Let's go for a fight, folks. Let's... Get a foothold north of the wall. Raise everybody. Go for a quick win here. Get a domain up. It may not be in the Iron Islands, but that doesn't really matter. Select. Select my armies. Uh, go to war. Let's maybe land here. And... Uh, You can increase your intrigue or you can get exposed. Yep. Okay, that probably didn't go to plan. Uh, let's split this army in half. I want half of you to go fight these guys. And hang on, I think I sent everybody. And the other half to go there. All right, so it should be an easy win. 50% successful. Dedication to my fate as well, which is good. Oh, because these are a different fate, and I'm fighting them. Spreading my uh, my religion north. Let's uh, speed this up. Battlefield Valor. Oh, I can knight somebody. Knight Dalton. If I knight him... I gain 25. Yeah, sure. There you go. I'm a knight, you're a knight. Everybody's a knight. Almost there. 
Uh, I wonder if we can unite the wildlings, or do we have to be a uh, wilding character? Not too sure. Um, but we did get our first piece of land, and we now have a little little chunk of the Orion Islands here. Uh, valuable hostage covered, sorry, captured. Um, we have a couple people in our prison here that will get us some money. Um, but I do want to go through them just in case they are good characters. So um, after this event, we'll go through our core, our prisoners. Growing, growing debauchery, safe and pike with all of his needs, provided for my son Marin, showing little um, proclivity to do anything but spend his days in the tavern. Okay, so this guy is going to lose us a level of fame. Uh, he can become a drunkard or, yeah, try and prove yourself, man. Don't be a drunkard. The struggle beyond the wall. The wildings north of the wall have languished in conflict among themselves for thousands of years. They call themselves the free folk, but they're nothing more than savages. I think this just popped up because I've took some land in, uh, in the north of the wall. The Night's Watch is the last hope against the hordes of wildings beyond the wall. I am the sword in the darkness. I am the watcher on the wall. I am the shield that guards the realms of all men. You are one of the interloper participants in the struggle beyond the wall. The region is currently in the phase of opportunity. Your actions and those of other participants will determine the future pay, uh, phases of the struggle. Take Okay, cool. So this is almost like this, similar to the... Um, Iberian struggle, I think, in the main base game. Uh, in Spain, obviously, it's very divided and they're fighting against each other. So this is kind of happening here north of the wall, which is nice. And I will I will absolutely participate. I can em embrace tri tribalism. How would I call myself a lord when that doesn't doesn't mean anything to my people? If I can't convert them, there's, there's only one alternative. Um, what does that do, the decision to embrace tribalism? What, does, what actually happens? Development in counties is ignored. Allows raiding in foreign uh, counties for loot. I'm not going to go backwards. Um, I'm okay. I'm a king. I'm not going to be become tribal. Um, yeah, I, I definitely want to... I'm now part of the struggle. Yeah, all of that's good. Open struggle view. <laughs> okay. Go to war. Oh, there's all these like mini challenges. Break a truce, kill an involved ruler, become a rival. Okay. Open the ending decisions. Iron Island's dominance. How can you see all the endings for the struggle? Keep in mind. Okay, this is just giving me a little bit of a tutorial. I'm obviously skipping through it and saying that I understand everything. Iron Islands. Um, your realm capital is in a struggle region. Your fate is uninvolved in the struggle. So I want to get involved. Okay, so these are the fates that are, these are people that are involved. Okay. I can end struggle. I can become the king beyond the wall, get 10,000 renown. That's pretty cool. So I'm an independent ruler. Everybody in my capital must be ironborn and follow the drowned god. I think there's one person that doesn't. I need to control all of the counties north of the wall. And yeah, okay. I need to become independent first. So that's kind of lined up nicely with the iron throne and trying to kill Stannis and then take over everything else. And then um, in the north, then I'll become the king beyond the wall. I think we found out what where we're going with this uh, this series. I can ransom this person for 40 gold. That's great. Create. I can create the Head of Fate title. If I have 300 gold. That means I'll become the Head of Fate, I think, and then I'll start to get some benefits. That's nice. Asher Grey Joy can marry. Um, matrilineal Alliance Power. I will take the alliance, please. All right, Lord Marin, I can get an alliance there too. Yes, I'll do that. Sure. And I can change your contract. 
I want more taxes or more levies. I actually want more taxes. It's an act of tyranny if they do too. Yeah, it's double the taxes from this guy, sure. And low control in the place that we've just taken. Makes sense. Let's get our our marshal to work on that. Alright, we're in debt. We won't be able to won't be able to fight anymore um, until we have more more money. But because we're based here, we can actually raise a couple of people as raiders and maybe maybe to steal some gold from our neighbors. There's 12 there. So let's do that. Stick a new rally point, maybe uh, here. Raise local raiders. And um, uh oh. King Stannis can stick me in prison because he found out about my murder scheme. Uh oh. He could probably uh, revoke my title as well. That's uh, pretty bad news. That's pretty bad news, I must say. Um, let's go get our gold for now, I suppose. That's really bad. Really, really bad. Why isn't that, uh, why is it ready? Okay, let's head back. Not sure why that's not raiding. I can make Asha Greyjoy into an Axe Wife. What does Axe Wife mean? Oh, Marshall. Yeah, sure. You can fight. Child's dream has always been inf uh, infatuated by the tales of the Kingsguard. Lord Commander Barristan, uh, the bowl of the Iron Throne, viewing him as. Okay. Um, gains a trait refusing marriage. Gains a trait joins the Kingsguard. Theon Greyjoy. Okay, loses opinion of me. Sure. Go join the Kingsguard. That can't go uh can't come back to bite me at all. Disband our uh Um, I'm no longer satisfied with regular torches. I've become known for inflicting on my prisoners. Lying rabbits move to the dungeon. How to use long cat? No immediate effects. No immediate effects right now. Can't hold a court. Low on money. Maybe we'll uh, we'll get something from the court. Court event. Sitting on my throne. Uh, yeah, let's gesture people. First in line to approach. Oh, because I'm landed now, I no longer have my cool uh, <laughs> my cool court. I might might change that back if I can. I, I liked the older one. Let's get. Uh, yeah, I'll take the renowned one. Uh, opinion. I imprison someone. I get love, uh, loved by the peasants. Popular opinion. Yeah, sure. You can... Um, pretty well, you can have this. It makes it a castle holding. I actually do need your gold, man. So... Yep, yeah, let's do that. So that gave us some gold, which is nice. And I think we can create the Head of Fate title. Oh, we need a hundred more gold. Um, why was my why was my court different? Like I, I want to I want to give away this land. I think. Did I move? I I, I think I moved my. Yeah, I think I gave away Pike somehow. 
Was I not based down here? <laughs> um, let's just have a look at our realm. How did that happen? Okay, so I'm no longer based on the Iron <laughs> Islands. I'm now welding up here. Oh, that's probably a bad move. But it'll be fun. Did I take the tribal? Like, did I click that by accident? I'm not really sure. Uh, we'll figure that out in the next episode, I think. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, let me let me have a look between our menus and our screens here in between episodes and try to figure out our next move. Um, we had a castle in the middle of, of the ocean. Now we have a, a tent north of the wall. <laughs> Fun. Fun times. Uh, thanks for watching. If you made it this way, uh, all, if you made it this far already and you've enjoyed the series please consider leaving a like if you're new thanks uh for for, for tuning in this is great i'll be making this probably once once or twice a week uh following the journey of the the gray joys in uh in westeros um have a nice rest of your day and i'll see you in the next one bye bye